in this video I want to showcase the different styles of adjustments. I want to show you with one style, a style that looks for air generators, and another style that's called the pop and pray method. What do those look like clinically in practice? When you're looking for air generators, you're looking for areas of dysfunction, and if you can stimulate them, you will cause the patient to have increased perspiration. Let's see what that looks like clinically in practice. Yeah. Like, you now check my temperature, because now I'm like boiling. <clears throat> Did you get warm? Mm. Oh yeah. Did you get sweaty? Yeah. And I really did. <laughs> you got hot? Yes, a lot. Because I'll feel their palms after adjustment. It's a good thing. <laughs> yeah. It's a little hot. Come on. So okay. I have it just blood vessels open up. And then all this blood comes through and blood carries heat. Did you get warm? Yeah, just sweat. You get warm? Yeah. Feel your palms? I got sweaty. I got sweaty. Yeah. yeah. As soon as you hit that, I was like, woof. One of the other tests that we measure and should be improved at the end of treatment is balance. You can measure a patient's balance with their eyes open and then with their eyes closed. You can use balance as a pre and post indicator to determine the success of care. Here we see the patient on the left. Their balance before is poor. We give them a little back adjustment, and afterwards, her balance is improved. <laughs> now let's go try your balance. <laughs> you got warm? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Looks a lot better. What the? F let's try your heel to toe test. Okay, close eyes or open eyes? Close. Oh, I can move forward. <laughs> the reason that patients balance is better after treatment is because chiropractic care affects something called proprioception, which helps the body balance. After care, patients should have a perceived sense of being able to breathe deeper because it takes less effort to activate muscles and the rib cage can expand a little more. Breathe better. I feel like I can breathe better. <sighs> I can breathe a lot better too. I feel so good up here. Huh? It because when I came here it felt it felt like I had constricted. Yeah. yeah. And then um, yesterday I noticed that I was able to actually you know just have the better posture, like I could get more air. Proper chiropractic care should also help a patient sleep by decreasing their stress levels. I'm good. I slept really well, which was nice. Um, I was 100% better. It's the first time in four months I've actually slept well. Wow. I did sleep better. How was your sleep? It was good. It was deep. It was it was pretty heavy. I did dream, which I usually don't. How did you sleep better? The first time I sleep better. Yeah. Kind of felt so good sleeping like i said so last september 19. you're saying you haven't slept that good in almost seven months seven eight months, months. Yeah, my body was in pain i just i couldn't get a good night's sleep so after your visit went home had some food hit the bed about 8 8 30. slept for about i don't know nine hours eight and a half nine hours got up, wow. took a short walk, had breakfast, and then I just fell right back into bed and slept for another four hours. Because chiropractic care affects proprioception, it helps control muscles and their ability to turn on with strength and to relax, giving an increased range of motion. You know, that little pinch is not that pinch anymore. It's less? Yeah, it's less. Uh, yeah, this would be the one that would relieve the, my shoulder one. That's crazy, dog. That's crazy. Dude, I wasn't able to do that. At a 10 pound weight, I couldn't even do that with, a, with my no, tool, this with, been with like my a month hammer. Long I didn't realize how much pain I actually had in my shoulder because I could stand up a little straighter and then my jaw, I didn't wake up with a, like, pain. You know, pain or swollen on my left side today. So it was really nice. Um, right now I can walk better. Yesterday, or oh, I mean for the past two weeks, I couldn't walk, I couldn't step on my heel. Oh, I couldn't, I couldn't do this. I couldn't bend it. I couldn't um, like 
just stand on it uh, because it hurts every time I Bend it, I bend there, put weight on it, yeah. And as you can see, yesterday I was walking like, like just like this, so you, you know. And now I'm actually using my whole foot. Yeah, way better. I feel like I can actually like lift my arm because I can tell a difference. Yeah, that's way better. Because chiropractic care affects proprioception, what that means is it stimulates the nerves, and in that process, they release more neurotransmitters, dopamine, serotonin, acetylcholine, glutamate, GABA, and so patients have a perceived sense of feeling better. That was wonderful. <laughs> I feel really great. I feel really relaxed, and that's hard for me to say. I have anxiety 24 seven, and I feel really, really relaxed right now leaving. I'm not even, you. I'm always like usually fidgeting or, you know, crossing my legs or something and I feel I feel so much better. How's your mood? How's your brain? How's your psyche? Everything feels so much better. I feel good. I feel, um, I feel good. Oh, yeah. Wow. I feel really, really calm. <laughs> That's great. I feel great now. I feel like I can see better. I feel like things are a lot more clear and balanced everywhere I look. Things aren't just kind of swaying back and forth like they normally would. I want to use this patient and what she said about clarity, and I'm going to demonstrate what she's talking about by using a video editing program. Imagine the different areas of the brain, and imagine that each area of the brain is playing the same audio track, and yet those areas of the brain are slightly out of sync with one another. This decreases the brain's perception makes a patient feel like they're in brain fog, maybe some disassociation, where there's a lag time between events in the environment and the perception of those events. If these are the neural networks and how they're lined up in a patient's head, you can see how the individual could have a confusion. This happens with traumatic brain injuries, drug use, and too much spinal manipulation, whether that's performed by a chiropractor, a physical therapist, a doctor of osteopathy, a bone setter, or Joe the general public. Now, I would like to make commentary on certain chiropractic styles of adjusting. However, it is looked down upon in my profession, this unspoken rule of speaking out against other chiropractors. The original model of chiropractic was a pressure on nerve model. It's been scientifically invalidated. We modern chiropractors know that. Chiropractors who are practicing from a traditional standpoint do not understand the body has limits. This doctor does not understand that this patient's nervous system has a limit. He's coming from an older model, a pressure on nerve model, and he's trying to take the pressure off of the nerves. This is inappropriate. It's inappropriate for two reasons. One, it's technically inaccurate, and two, you're overstimulating the patient's nervous system. Now, on a personal note, I'm a little shocked I saw this video. I have blocked 95% of YouTube chiropractors. Um, watching them do their work is painful and disappointing. So I'm a little shocked that I even saw this video. I, I don't know how it made it through. What is so appropriate is the title of the video, Man Survives. This is way too much stimulation. This is totally inappropriate for any patient's nervous system. Had he stopped at the first adjustment, that would have been one thing. While the pop and pray method of chiropractic does have benefits for the general public, no informed patient who is sensitive would ever see this practitioner if they valued their brain and its capacity to work normally. The combination of spinal manipulation with this much massage is too much stimulation for this patient. You'll notice later on when the doctor asks how the patient is feeling, listen to the patient's response. How you feeling? I'm just trying to like see if I can get my vision straight again. If it's good, I feel good. I want to reiterate, if a patient says that they can't see, this is not a good sign. If it's there for a moment or so, that's one thing, but this patient's going to have problems. The second thing is because the doctor knocked the neural networks out of sync, the patient says, I don't know what I feel right now. I don't know what I feel right now, I feel real good. Now he's a young, positive guy. We've got a camera person in the room, so he says, I feel real good. And I hope that's the case, but my clinical experience tells me this young man is going to suffer from this trauma for at least two to three weeks. So in closing up that section, we chiropractors can put neural networks in sync 
and we can disrupt neural networks and get them out of sync. The clarity of the patient at the end of the session tells us the outcome. Both proper and improper proprioceptive stimulation through spinal manipulation will decrease the patient's pain. One will improve brain performance, one will decrease brain performance. Remember, when you are adjusting joints, you are stimulating joint mechanoreceptors, which affect the proprioceptive signals, causing that nerve to release neurotransmitters. If the neuron is overstimulated and the neuron is unhealthy or it's suffering from a deaffrontation syndrome where it's not being stimulated properly, and you do too much, which is technically called exceeding the metabolic capacity of the neuron, the influx of calcium can be too great. If it exceeds a certain percentage, roughly 20%, you will kill the neuron. The neuron will then release glutamate, which will affect the NMDA receptors of other neurons, exciting them to death. Much like a ischemic cascade or a stroke, chiropractic care can do the same thing. And I wanna be clear, it's not simply chiropractic care. It's spinal manipulation, whether performed by a chiropractor, a physical therapist, a doctor of osteopathy, a bone setter, or Joe the general public. So when the patient's brain is stimulated to get the neural networks in sync, it takes less effort for patients to move muscles. And in that process, patients will feel more upright and they will feel lighter. Wow, it's easier to keep my posture up too. Whereas before I felt like I wanted to favor like slouching. I feel much it's less of an effort to keep myself up. I feel lighter. Yeah. Like on my feet, I feel lighter. Like yeah. your muscles work a little easier. Yeah. My patient Morris here wants me to come back to Jamaica. Morris, why do you want me to come back? I just, not even 10 minutes ago, I met you and you do something for me. My body, and it's feeling, I'm feeling like 10 years I've gone. As I have said many times in previous videos, I cannot defend every chiropractor. I can defend the theory of chiropractic. Let's listen to some patient experiences of what they have in our office compared to other forms of chiropractic care. Uh, I have never visited a chiropractor like this at all. We've had overall definitely a lot more relief than I've had like in past sessions um, at other chiropractic places. <sighs> yes, much better. Wendy, thanks for trusting us in our office. Appreciate it, sir. I am so glad I met you. I'm glad you came in and trusted us. Thank you. Yes, I'm feeling so much better. Thank you. We have a totally different technique, but it's like, yes. yes.